so form's a bit hit and miss. But we have beaten a Serie A, a team. So, are we good? <laughs> to around the world in 80 clubs the question really is are we good or not um because since you were last with me we went on to beat sport Recif 2-0 with charlie and lima on the score sheet we then unfortunately lost to remo 4-0 we were dreadful in that game considering we'd drawn and beaten them previously this season that was not great but most recently we then went on we faced uh international at home and won one nil with charlie getting the score sheet unfortunately that means we are out because we lost two nil in the first leg but we've just beaten them and they are as i said in Serie and they're not only just in it they are currently top of it um you know, they, they're they a good side. They finish sort of second and third. And so that's interesting. So I'm not entirely sure if we're good or bad or middling. Um, we've got some condition worries for today, but we are going in with it anyway we have Merinkova in goal with Enrique Zabala and Ja at the back Toneto and Garcia out wide of Correa and ha Henrique and then we have Lima Conte and Charlie up top I've pulled Lima back because apparently him and Charlie weren't connecting as well so i was wondering if maybe this would make things connect a little bit better i don't know i'm uh playing around a little bit so yeah it's really hit and miss i don't know how good we are have we just been unlucky in a few games um or not and we've got a penalty straight away against ABC. The referee's got his fingers in his ears. Penalty review. Penalty awarded. Now who's going to step up for this one? It is Correa. Steps up confidently and puts it in the top corner. That's 1-0. That hopefully tells us that we're good. But it is still quite early in the game. So I don't want to say for sure. But Toneto plays it back to Cor Correa. Toneto, Paolo Enrique. Toneto. But this time he loses out. And just then plays it to Kleber. To Justin. To Santos. Simeone, Cleaver, Toneto gathers the ball though, and Correa plays it to Pablo Enrique, Pablo to Zabaleta, Zabaleta to Lewis, Lewis to Conati, to Garcia. Can Garcia find a ball across? No, so he plays it back to Lewis Enrique, to Jar. Jar plays one over the top to Charlie, and Charlie scored, and that's. It's counted. Get in. That's what we like. Beautiful ball through. And Charlie just does what Charlie does and slots the ball home. Fantastic. So, I mean, we're in and around the playoffs and hopefully we can finish in the playoff spots. But it, it, it's not so straightforward. Correa picks it up. To Luis Enrique, to Zabala, to Enrique, 
to Lima. Lima now oh, just saved onto the crossbar there by the ABC keeper and Correa now on the ball with a corner. He tries to play it into the near post but doesn't beat the first man. I would say we're we're dominating possession 70-30 and that's another thing I've noticed we are very good at retaining possession um, in games that we are good in it's just a bit odd how some games we're not so good but uh, I'm happy with the number of shots keep going we might make some changes around 60 70 minutes to try and keep everyone fresh Correa oh, just over oh that was close so 60 minutes gone I think we'll make some might make some changes after this highlight Correa to Luis Enrique sprays it out to Garcia he chips the ball forward to Canetti. Back to Garcia. Can Garcia find a ball across? He's brought down. And that could be a red card. It is. They're down to 10 men. And now we're going to make some changes. So... I want to bring Pirellis on. Um, I'm going to bring him on for Lima, but then move Kante, Canetti, sorry, back. Um, I also want Fernandinho. Oh, I don't know, actually. Let's bring Garcia off for Lorenko. And Pablo Enrique for Doma. Just trying to get a bit of fresh legs on. I think not ever so needed, but it does help. Now that they're down to 10, we can just easily take control of the game, I would hope. Correa plays it to Ja. Ja loses out to Olivio. Anderson plays it across Olivio, and that's a goal. It's a bad, bad counter attack. We just gave the ball away so dangerously. And yeah, we're not doing too well. 75 minutes, we're just going to make a couple more changes. Um, I want to bring Garras on for Charlie. And we're going to bring Jardson on for Tonetti, I think. So we just swapped things around a little bit, brought on some of the real fringe players. Could be dangerous, but I think we should hold on. Sorry, my phone's going crazy. Poor, I know, but hey ho. Here is Judson, and Judson's giving the ball away to Santos and Justin. And it's played over the top to Oliveira and he's rounded the keeper. And it's two all. I don't think I was too confident with my subs. They weren't bad. You know, they all play well. In the positions they're in, I'm just... Astonished that after the red card, they managed to pull two goals back. 
Um, we weren't good enough. We let them back into the game. We could be a mid-table team, and the board are happy with mid-table, so let's see. Anyway, I'll see you for the next match in a minute. Hello, and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Clubs. So, for today's game, I've developed a new tactic. Um, so, this is, this is a tactic. So, we have Marakovic in goal, and then Zabala and Ja as wide defensive midfielders with Pompey as a librero. And then we've got Tineto, Garcia, and Breno as Breno's now an anchor man, so he'll sit there and Pompey will run on beyond him. Correa and Kante in midfield with Charlie and Lima up top. Today we face America Miniaro. Now, if you remember, when we took this job, we actually had an interview with America Miriano, and they decided against giving us the job. Um, but they had a lot of money. They were paying players quite a lot. And I've now got to take you off the bench, and we'll bring on the bench. Uh, Caesar. Because I had too many foreign players. Breno looks to be not quite there, but this is a test to see whether the new formation um, would be good against better than us teams. Um, because I know that this team is is really good and players on it are you know they had someone on 20 plus thousand pounds a week and Shah comes in and scores an early goal eight minutes on the clock we're one nil up away from home wowzers that's uh gonna be interesting Possession's kind of 50-50, and we've got another corner now. And Canete to take it. Canete plays it in towards Jar again. He's unable to get there, but Canete re-picks up the ball, and it falls to Pompey, who just gets a beautiful goal. Makes it 2-0. Get in there. I know they're from set pieces, so it doesn't really prove anything. But whether about, about the formation as such. But the fact that we're holding them to not many chances. Screams that this formation is kind of working. As you can see when we're playing at the back. We almost have a back four. at times rather than the back three Zavala plays it to Ja Ja now four to Garcia to Kante Pompey you saw that run forward and then oh just wide and then it's almost like a two sitting in front of the back two when we're on the ball uh oh that was not a good time to play that short corner and they were aware of it. I say short, it was out to the wing, I mean, and out to the edge of the box. Which does work if you have someone that can strike from a distance. But Garcia now. Garcia plays it through to Charlie and it's three. Oh my word, have I just stumbled across a formation that has everything. If you look, Breno, who is right up there, Pomp right alongside Pompey. And that ball there for Pompey. Pompey's the central libero, central 
centre back, and he is up alongside Breno. This is very interesting to see whether this formation sticks and actually is as good as it's looked today. I think will be very interesting in the future. But now they're on the ball with Jars there to play it to Pompey, to Breno, Jar, to Garcia. Now here's Pompey running all the way up. So Jar plays the ball over to Correa. Correa to Zavala. Pompey's in and around. He's now run beyond Breno. Charlie. Plays it back to Correa. Oh, just why? Wowzers. That was close. Now Garcia on the ball to Lima. Lima plays it back to Ja. Ja out to Lima. Lima plays the ball forward to go towards Garcia, but it's intercepted. And now they've got the chance with Finetta. Correa with a crunching challenge there. That's what we like. Canetti now, who loses out to Canilnal. Padino. Uh, plays it back to Finetti. And then Prodex. They're unable to do much with it. We're going to make some changes. We're at 70 minutes. What can we do here? Um, I'd like to bring Sosa on. Uh, I'm going to bring him on for Jar, but move Breno. Oh no, Breno really can't play there. Breno's got to play there. Uh, maybe move Pompey out. No. Ugh. Okay, change of plan. Doma's coming on. I still want to bring Sosa on. He can play for Correa. Um, Fernandinho's coming on. He's been a little bit upset recently. And... Uh, who else can we bring up? Might bring Lima off for. Uh, we're going to bring off for Perales. Let's see. I don't think I've made the changes too early this time. I think they're probably just about right. Garcia also looking like he could do with a bit of a rest. So, uh, Milan Ton is coming on as well. And it looks like we get a corner. Canetti plays it towards the near post and the highlight ends before it starts. A bit odd. I mean, we've had good chances. Pompey at the back post. Makes it four. Yes, come on. Rises above everyone. The keeper's left stranded without a hope. And we get four nil. That's incredible. Wowzers. And I suppose that comes from having pretty much four centre-backs on the field. And that actually puts us right in contention now for this top spots. Considering we've got a game in hand of two of the people above us, we could go third, possibly better. Um, and we're not out completely out of touch of the leaders if form continues to go well. So with that being said and this new formation, which I am going to play for the next couple of games, I think, 
Um, we will come back for Oparino, Faravo, and Serrara, Correa, Correa, Serrara, Serrara, that team. Um, so until then, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Mars Manager. Please like, subscribe if you're new for daily football manager content. I've been the Mars Manager and I have spoken. <laughs>